Hi everyone, welcome to Unacademy Neat English. I'm your biology educator Ambika Sharma and today I am going to tell you the most realistic plan to score good marks in your Neat Biology. So you must be thinking that ma'am what do you mean by the good marks and is this video is for everyone or for the beginners or from uh, or for those who are you know struggling with the revision. So let me tell you students let's say if in mock test you are scoring near about 320 marks or somewhere in between you know 350 uh, 300 to 350 then yes this video is for you because after following all the tips yes you will ensure your 550 plus marks in your need 2024 examination this is the one thing secondly now some must be thinking that ma'am what if we are the beginner so in this video I have divided everything into two parts if you are struggling with the revision obviously this video is for you and if you are the beginner then definitely this video is for you because I'm going to tell you something very real right I'm not going to give you the false hopes and whatever I'm going to tell you today is doable it is not something that is very difficult to manage okay see uh, last one month is it important to revise at this particular time because I have seen many students complaining that ma'am we don't know right we have the anxiety we are not able to sleep right we just you know open the books we sometimes we jump from physics to chemistry chemistry to biology biology to physics we are not able to complete anything and we are under uh, you know under pressure and we always feel that yes we have to study but we are not able to right so these are the thoughts that you people get in that last one month and this is something that you need to overcome this is something where you need to challenge yourself and you have to make sure you utilize this time wisely let me tell you students the last one month is very very crucial why why this month is crucial because here if you will let's say you have completed your syllabus you are not revising properly then obviously your score will be less let's say you 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 didn't complete your syllabus you have completed few topics and if in last one month you will revise properly then again you can boost your score so definitely last one month is very important and it is the time period where actually right where actually most of the neat aspirants they give up they quit and actually some of the neat aspirant they just gather all their courage and they all their courage and they give their best so this is what I'm going to discuss with you all so see it is something very realistic at this point of time see initially when I used to make the videos I always used to say that students you have to study for six to seven hours because if you will study for 10 to 12 hours so you will be burst you will not be able to uh, you know study that for uh, you will not be able to continue that for a long time this is what I always mention but now it is the time when where actually you have to sit for 12 to 14 hours yes and it is not the target it is not a target that yes today every day I have to sit for 14 hours no no you do not have any option because the syllabus is vast and this is a time when we have to manage everything we have to revise everything so definitely you have to study for 14 hours and if I'm saying 14 hours then it means at least 12 hours should be the productive hours because definitely you will struggle with the things you are not going to you are not going to utilize each and every minute of these 14 hours so obviously at least to 12 hours 12 productive hours should be there now you will be like ma'am it is something uh, which is not realistic no it is it is if you are actually fighting for something if you have planned that yes I want my medical college then definitely this is something that you have to do right now let me tell you that this video is for for what kind of students see if you are doing the revision then this video is definitely for you and if you are starting from zero then somewhere this video is not for you I will give you a very honest advice what are you thinking right I believe if you are saying that I'm starting from zero it's just that your preparation is not directional right you are not just studying properly you have studied something I cannot believe that someone who's who's not aware of syllabus and suddenly that student has decided that now I have to crack the examination of course it is not possible maybe maybe you are class 12 st student you have just given your board examination okay maybe you are a dropper right who uh, the dropper those who are not able to focus those who are not able to revise they are those uh, who didn't complete their syllabus right in this category this is what I'm considering right right so zero means you know something still you know something right but that thing is not directional it is like sometimes you are in physics loop sometimes in chemistry you don't know what to do what not to do so I'll be I'll be telling you this thing very honestly students 
it is very difficult for you to go to the aims daily now right if you are at this level it is very difficult for you to go to a government col medical college if you are that at this level what do you have to do you have to accept few facts right that will be very good for you i don't want to give you the unrealistic hope so that later on after the neat examination you will start crying right you will be in depression so you have to accept some things maybe you will feel bad you can just right you can just stop this video if you are feeling like that okay okay so what you have to do right now right now what you have to do you just need to focus on one thing and that is that okay whatever is the reason maybe family problem maybe you are struggling with something whatever is the reason you are not able to study but now you want to give your last one month so you have to accept it that in last one month i'm going to put the efforts i'm going to revise the most important things but i will not be expecting a very good result in my neat 24 you are going to put the effort here in last one month just to check are you meant for this exam or not right if in last one month if you will put the uh, honest efforts and definitely your score will boost and if that score will boost and if you enjoy that learning it means yes this exam is for you you can just give it a try even for the next year and if you will give your one month properly maybe you never know maybe you'll study only the important things and you will crack your exam I'm, I'm, see this is my wishful thinking right but yeah if you will put effort in last one month trust me trust me students you will complete a uh, good you will complete you will complete your syllabus a bit right and that is going to give you the confidence to decide that whether you will go for the uh, for uh, again for the preparation of that neat examination or you have to opt for another course so yes this last one month is also important for you people now come to this how are you going to revise first of all this is what we have 5th april to 5th may this is the time period that we have so obviously you are not going to study till 5th uh, till 5th of may of course you cannot and even you should not right you you can maximum study till 4th may or i will say 3rd may will be the better one why because you have to relax your mind as well but we 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 have seen that even outside the examination hall students they keep revising the things keep revising the things this is our general attitude but i'll say right study till 3rd of may or even for 4th of may if you want to revise something important that's it that's all right and 5th uh, may could just think about your exam that nothing else okay nothing else so roughly you have one month because i i believe that you are watching this on 5th of april so 5th april to 26th april is the time period where we are going to revise and we are going to complete our syllabus okay so on an average you still have because you have to sit for 13 to 14 hours 14 to 15 hours at this time now they go if you will not put efforts you will be anxious all the time you will not be able to study if you will put efforts you will feel accomplished you will be like yeah at least i am doing something i am doing something okay so that will give you a sense of accomplishment you will be relaxed in this one month otherwise you always have that anxiety so i'll say just give your honest put your honest effort this is what i can say now on an average you have 3 hours for each chapter because now syllabus is reduced total 79 chapters are there right bache right bache so in that 79 chapters yes we know what are the most important things okay so roughly you have 3 hours for each chapter because every day you are sitting for 14 to 16 hours that is why i'm saying so firstly the only source at this point of time is ncert you have you should not pick up anything else at this point of time first thing secondly if you are th thinking that you should go for the deleted topics it's a big no you can check your J papers also in the J papers also nothing was there from the deleted topics so you, there is no need to study the deleted topics as of now out of physics chemistry and biology if you are a if your preparation is not directional of course you should you have to go for the biology right in biology if you will it is easy to study and to revise the complete biology the 32 chapters and here from these 32 chapters if you will just select most important uh, chapters and then from the chapters that you are leaving from that chapters if you will pick up most important topics then obviously right biology will be a game changer for you so at least right 320 plus marks definitely you can ensure if you are starting from zero and if you are just revising it if you will revise it properly i'll tell you how to revise then definitely you will go for 330 plus marks this is what we have to achieve this is what we have to achieve now when it comes to physics and chemistry obviously we are not allowed to miss the most important things and here you guys can see right 
देखो सो एज आई सेड यू हैव टू कंसिडर इट फ्रॉम फिफ्थ अप्रैल टू द ट्वेंटी सिक्स अप्रैल राइट वाई बिकॉज वी नीड लास्ट सेवन डेज आई हैव गिवन यू मोर देन सेवन डेज फॉर द रिविजन ओनली एंड इन दिस रिविजन यू आर नॉट अलाउड टू पिकअप एनी थिंग एक्स्ट्रा इन दिस रिविजन टाइम जस्ट द फॉर्मुला शीट्स यू हैव टू पिकअप एंड रिवाइज राइट इवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स यू कैन गेट सच लिंक्स राइट एग्जाम्पल्स राइट एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री बायोलॉजी वेयर एवर यू नीड टू रिटेन स्पेशली इन द बायोलॉजी एंड इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री यू आर नॉट अलाउड टू मिस डेट्स बच्चे important dates in the biology you get it right the errors right I, i believe that you are giving the mock test you are having a error notebook you know where are you making the mistakes so you need to read that errors also and the reactions the name reactions important reactions you are not allowed to miss this is what you people need to do theek okay? hai in last 7 days in last 7 days if you are thinking i will complete this chapter that chapter sorry no need to do that last 7 days should be for the revision only even out of that 79 chapters even if you have completed 30 chapters still i will just you to go for the revision and just go for the most important topics okay now this physics chemistry and biology first of all let's start with the biology revision those who are just revising obviously ncrt and ncrt ncrt highlights you have highlighted the ncrt as per the previous year question paper as per the important things important words this is what you have to revise i told you you will be having 2 to 3 hours for each chapter in that 2 to 3 hours initially for 15 days see biology 15 days are sufficient enough in 15 days you can complete all the 32 chapters and here you know that the chapters which are not so important the chapters from where the most important topics you know the most important topics just pick up that and in 15 days just give just eat your biology the same you can do for uh, uh, the same beginners the, uh, the one that are not uh, that the, the, the one that are from zero they can also do that they can also do that so what you have to do let's say if you have 2 to 3 hours in that 2 to 3 hours read ncrt right do not miss the diagram part do not miss the summary part read ncrt and start practicing the pyqs start practicing the pyqs start remembering the pyqs you will get to know the most important things and you will see in neat 2024 again you will see many questions will directly be from uh, directly from there uh, from the pyqs that's what you need to keep in your mind so ncrt highlights important not just for this for your chemistry also for your physics also because there are some uh, lines some questions some points which directly come in the paper done so pyq statements whatever statement has made a pyq we are going to eat that we are not going to miss that right we cannot take the risk to miss that then diagram summary and practice practice is important guys if you are thinking that i will not give the mock test but why because because of that mock test i'm getting a low score and it is demotivating me please you are not on the right track at least 10 mock tests you people should give right not 10 at least 7 mock tests you should give before your neat examination because that will tell you how to reduce the negative marking that will tell you the time management and that will tell you where are you making the mistakes and now if you thinking that ma'am in mock test full syllabus is there what to do in that case simple simple decide that in this first mock test i will be reading i will be completing these chapters next mock test i'll be completing these chapters you start analyzing your score as per that that's what you have to do okay that's what you have to do so this is what we have to do for the biology and at this point of time we cannot leave biology if you are just reading biology not reading physics and chemistry not good for you you have to manage all the three subjects all together now when it is the chemistry revision is important again the our only source is ncert in this video i'll tell you the most important chapters as well then ncert questions the questions that are given in after completing a chapters right the questions you should not mix it. miss it the questions which are given in text itself right the statements the points that are given in text itself you have to pick it up you write the direct questions come from that things right bachche fact based questions you should not mix name reaction important name reactions the charts especially these charts for the inorganic chemistry organic chemistry you should not miss and formula sheet especially for the physics chemistry a uh, physical chemistry not uh, you should not miss and same for the physics physics mein again uh, we know that it's not that easy it is hard as well so just pick up the most important topics students i believe you know by this time the most important chapters and most important topics if you don't know that just just check an academy neat english yavar sir has posted the video wazim sir has posted the video just check that out and just complete that topics okay just complete that topics highlights are highlights are the things that you should not miss and these days right from the physics also they are not asking very difficult questions so do not miss the questions which are given in exercise and the chapters which are very important do not miss them just pick up their right just pick up their pick up their most important topics if you are thinking that ma'am 
I don't know some chapters. What should I do? Go for the one shots. At this point of time, only one shots can save you. Only one shot can save you. We are also taking the marathons. Like uh, on tenth, I'll be taking the complete class eleven zoology marathon. Be the part of that marathon, right? To revise your complete human physiology with me. That is how you have to cover as of now, right? So for the physics also, that guys, do not miss the most important chapters. Do not miss the most important topics. There are some topics which are asked directly every year, right? Master that. Master that. Be smart as of now. Be smart as of now. And even if you are revising, if you are scoring low in your mock test, that's what you have to do. You have to pick up the most important things, right? And those were. starting from zero guys i'll tell you do not expect the result but just give your best do not expect the result give your best you will get something very good out of it now see for street and crt when it comes to chemistry data info you should not miss important reactions you should not miss you should highlight the lines that has been asked as a question right tables they are very important for inorganic chemistry and when it comes to physical chemistry the questions from exercise the formulas they are very important organic uh, for organic chemistry the name reaction and their reagents they are very important right so these are some chapters which you should not miss i believe these are the six most important chapters and out of that most important chapters you people can pick up the most important topics as well good number of questions they come from these chapters so do not miss these chapters if you are confused what to do what to start at least complete it at least complete it if you know goc right i know it's a very lengthy chapter you will understand the basics of organic chemistry you will uh, solve many things students you will solve many things now when it comes to physics these are the chapters few more are there these are the chapters from where in last 5 years many questions they have been repeated obviously i have seen many videos for that right i have seen many videos and i'm clubbing all the information and i'm providing you that information in one video right which is so that is why i'm telling you please do not miss these chapters because in last 5 uh, five years many questions they have been asked from these chapters okay okay so whatever is difficult right like let's say you are not able to understand kinematics understand the most important units uh, most important chapter topics now go for the one shot now just pick up the pyqs and start solving them understand the pattern that's what you have to do you have to do the smart work as of now guys i strongly believe in this 80 20 rule which says that your 80% 80% paper will come from your 20% syllabus and then in that last one month that is the 20% syllabus which we are not allowed to miss when it comes to biology genetics human physiology biotechnology plant physiology these are something that we are not allowed to miss right number of chapters are deleted so obviously more number of questions will ask from these chapters right in diversity there are multiple examples how to manage that i have given you last 7 days also and every day just give a rough round of revision to them right whatever has been asked in the previous year questions whatever examples are there do not miss that you will crack your exam right your paper will be repeated from your previous year paper so at least last 10 years pyqs you should solve definitely you should solve and give mock test give mock test analyze mock test analysis of mock test is some think very important right analysis of mock test is something very important you cannot just make mistakes and you cannot just cry for that mistakes you have to take the initiative you have to take the lead and you have to see that where are you making the mistakes what kind of mistakes are you you are making and try to resolve that guys for one month please give your best do whatever you can do so that you will not have the emotion of regret okay okay even if you are a beginner give this time to this examination because it will tell you that whether you should go for the drop or for the college trust me on that so this is something realistic do not forget that you have time till 26th april only to complete your syllabus last 7 days is for the revision so i want everyone to mention this that mention it in the comment section that yes let's crack it let's crack it ma'am give your best it is it is always the motivation that you need at this point of time i'll keep motivating you you will keep studying i'll keep motivating you you will keep studying and trust me if every day you will fulfill your target you will have that sense of accomplishment and you will feel relaxed and when you are relaxed you will be a better performer mark my words students mark my words okay so please go for it give your best 
ट्रस्ट मी यू कैन डू इट बच्चे नो नीड टू टेक द प्रेशर एक्सेप्ट योर रियालिटी एट विच लेवल यू आर एंड अकॉर्डिंगली एक्सपेक्ट रिजल्ट फ्रॉम नीट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर ओके अकॉर्डिंगली एक्सेप्ट अकॉर्डिंगली एक्सपेक्ट रिजल्ट फ्रॉम योर नीट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर दैट्स वॉट यू हैव टू डू एंड आई होप यू ऑल नो अबाउट इट इफ यू डोंट लेट मी टेल यू द आर एम द बेस्ट और यू कैन से द बिगेस्ट इवेंट एडुकेशनल इवेंट फॉर नीट एंड जे एस पेरेंट्स राइट बच्चे एंड दैट विल बी ऑन सेवेंथ ऑफ अप्रैल फ्रॉम वन पी एम टू थ्री पी एम ऑन अन अकेडमी स्पॉट लाइट सो सी यू आउ देर राइट बच्चे टेक केयर ऑल द बेस्ट डू लेट मी नो अदर प्रॉब्लम विच यू आर फेसिंग राइट नाउ आई डेफिनेटली मेक वीडियोज ऑन दैट सो टेक केयर स्टेट यून ऑल द बेस्ट